We are back, and I am here with no other than Zab Judah and, of course, his beautiful ex-wife, Mita. They are a producer and a yes. executive producer of their new project that is on Bossip, which is called Boxer Wives. Yeah. I love it. Yes. <laughs> I really, really love it. Now, you know what? I need to take y'all back into time a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I need to take you back to when you was little. Yes. Okay? I need you to tell me. What was your favorite hairdo? And when you were little, what did your mother used to put in your hair? Um, so my favorite half, uh, my favorite hairdo was the salt and pepper, half up, half down. Nice. It was a cross between that and the mushroom with the little piece out in the back. I like that. <laughs> I like yeah. That right there, that's the pink hair tan girl's hairdo. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then of course, I think it was like Dax. Grease. Your mother used Dax. She used the green one. Yes. <laughs> Let me find out. She used to be like, sit right here. Exactly. Wet this brush. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? A nice little wet brush. You put that Dax in there and get to slicking that shit up. My I'm mother's Spanish though, so she said it in like you know in Spanish, but yeah. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. So she was like a. She was like a. Ven aquí. Sí. Ven aquí. Siéntate aquí. Siéntate, siéntate. <laughs> Then she gave you the brush. Agua. <laughs> I can imagine how that was. Absolutely. See, shout out to all the moms that use Dax. Because, see, a lot of little girls don't really know what it's like to sit down and have that whole grease regiment going exactly. on. Exactly. Because they don't do that anymore. Nobody greases their scalp no more. No, because they say clogs the scalp. Yeah. Oh, yeah well, I'll right. tell you something. Yeah, it clogs the scalp. But thank God for all this thick shit we got now. Exactly. <laughs> you know, this came from clogging. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look, and that's why we still got edges because we clog. Ex you notice that, right? Yes. That our generation has edges. No, Isn't that something? Yes. I mean, and listen, girls. I'm not saying I don't have anything against those who are edgeless. I'm just saying maybe just get a little Dax grease. Edgeless. Sulfur yeah. eight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sulfur eight. Sulfur fucking eight. I still eight. use sulfur eight to the sulfur day. Sulfur eight. Don't smell good, but you're fucking edges. Exactly. Today. I just spray a little something on top of it, but I still use See, it. See, look at that. Sulfur eight. That's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about that. Nothing. And you must. You must. Must wear a scarf before you go to bed. Yes, because I still the wear a scarf. yeah, because you know what it is. The sheets and pillowcase will rub your sheets. Yes. <laughs> Rub it all the way out. Now, I don't even, listen, I don't even know if that's true or not, but that's what they always said. And, like, this wool hat that I have on right now, like, under it, I have, like, the jail. Uh, yeah, you have to. The little half do-rag cap. Do that take the edges out, too. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, look, they will take the edges playing, out. Son. You see what I'm saying? I ain't playing. I ain't playing yes. with, with my cap, son. Remember, we used to have every color, the every, blue, the that's red, right, the black. To try to match with the outfit. Exactly. There you go. Everybody in OBCC walking around with that do-rag. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and listen, and that's why they got edges. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I ain't never seen them locked up motherfucker without edges. Right. They waves be all down. Nice. <laughs> Please believe it, baby. Okay, so now I need to go back to a question that is Strictly for the OG's G's G question of the day. Okay, Zab, we need to go to Brooklyn. Let's go. We hungry. We only got about five fucking dollars. Now, I don't know why we got five dollars, because t between me and you, we should have about a million, but we got five fucking dollars. Mm -hmm. And we're going to the corner bodega store. Mm -hmm. Tell me, with this five dollars, what are you ordering? And I need you to order it the way you would order. Here uh, we go. Yeah, 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 Bobby, 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 Bobby. Yo, let me get, give me two pounds of turkey, um, 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 a half a pound of cheese. So that's like $3 right there. You there you go, there you go. That's like $3 right there. Then give me, um... Then give me a dollar, a, a dollar big juice. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So we get the juice. And then me, I'm saying, give me, um, um, I want three packs of annihilators, two pack of Boston baked beans. No, three pack of Boston baked beans, three annihilators, and some Jolly Ranchers. God damn it, we got eight. We good. We yes. full. We got candy and food and drink. There you go, and that's what I'm talking about. Yes. But did you peep how we gonna do this? We just gonna take, now mind you, we didn't get no fucking bread. Right, you don't want to hear We ain't gonna go home listen, and make your listen, own bread. Listen, look, look, look. <laughs> we, the reason why we